Hello everyone, welcome back to World Gaming. It's Savannah here and today we're doing another speed build in the Elegant Core side of my island. So yes, we're back on the pretty side. I'm so excited. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below what you think of this build. But now, let's go into it. So I kind of marked out the size of this area with holes and found where the middle point was because I kind of wanted to have it semi-symmetrical, like not completely, but symmetrical enough to like not look weird, I guess. Like I wanted the entrance to it to be symmetrical and I wanted the sides to be symmetrical. So I made sure that I marked out my points and made it all pretty and symmetrical. And here you can see me using the same designs that I used in my entrance and my design ideas video. And I love this code so much. This creator is so talented. Um, all of the creators of the codes I use will be in my descriptions, including the creator of this one. They have a YouTube channel, which is so cool. And I really liked watching some of their videos. So yeah, go check them out because their codes are amazing. They're so talented. <laughs> And here you can just see me finishing up this uh, pathing. It took me a very long time. So I was like, oh, I need to cut all this out because it was literally so boring to watch. <laughs> I watched it so you guys didn't have to, don't worry. here you can kind of see like the base path area and I'm using the wedding pipe organs and I'm gonna be making a fake building um, as you guys can already tell this island is gonna be full of fake buildings in both the rich and the poor areas so this is our first fake building well our first proper fake building in the rich area and I'm super excited for this one because I get to use such beautiful codes and make hopefully a beautiful building. <laughs> As you can see here I'm making this like a two tier building and I have two different window codes by the same creator. I quite liked the idea of using two different colour bricks because I wanted it to kind of be dimensional and not be too samey. I find sometimes using the same code for a fake building can make it all just mush together in not a very nice way. And I had to play around with the simple panels a bit to kind of get the right idea for the building that I wanted and it was a bit difficult but I decided that I needed to put something behind the simple panels and I do use the hedges so it just kind of gives them like a little like balcony rooftop feel I find that uh, fake buildings can look a bit bare if you don't have some kind of rooftop on them and I love that swirly staircase it is so cute I love it so much and I was happy but then I was like this kind of needs a door so I do end up getting a door for it later on and I play around with using the stool for like the roofing And it kind of bugs me that you can't see stools behind simple panels, but you can behind standees. 
It's like so frustrating. And I'm using a wood burning stove again to make the little like chimney. And I tested out these uh, standy doors, but I do end up going with a door on a simple panel instead because um, I didn't feel like the standees quite fit here and it felt a bit awkward and weird. I'm not sure why. Oh, shout out to EJ coming online. <laughs> EJ always wants to shout out some of my video. But yeah, go go subscribe to him if you're not subscribed. And I'm using the new bow item as well. Basically, I wanted to do this build so that I could incorporate this bow item because it is so cute and I love it. So I knew I wanted it somewhere, but I wasn't quite sure where to put it yet. I just knew that I needed it. <laughs> and I put a tree in too, just to add a little bit of greenery because my island is lacking in trees. So I needed a tree somewhere. And I found that changing around the uh, wedding organ so that you couldn't see the bomb but you could see the big pipes really just did something for the building. I don't know why but it really looked good. So here I am putting in the door. And just using a bunny day planter to kind of hide that patch where the tree is. And then I'm using this like alternating um, hedge fencing and the iron and stone fencing and it looks so grand and pretty. I did test out the wedding fencing and the spooky fencing too and I'll probably use them in other places on the island but I felt like the iron and stone fencing was like the best one here and I've always wanted to use this fencing but never really known where to use it. But I kind of wanted this to feel like a town square kind of thing so I do end up putting this uh, fountain in the middle just to kind of give it that like I don't know town square that is like my description for it but that might not be the right kind of words but I guess plaza maybe a better way to say it but yeah I used the black fountain because my brain was telling me to use the white one but I really like how the black looks here like the it's just like a nice hint of black and it doesn't like all blend in because I feel like white might have blended in too much because I do use a lot of white items in this build and I love that you can place items on the base of the bell that is so cool <laughs> to do a little seating area and I thought just by this tree would be really cute. I do play around with putting another bunny day planter but they don't like go close enough so I thought it looked awkward and I was like get rid of that. So instead I put a uh, little seating area with like uh, a little cup on it. I think it's the table setting which I randomly got out of a balloon right before I started filming and I was like okay. I'll use this and I th think it looks really cute in the colour that I got. And I put some goldfish on turkey day stands just to kind of look like these cool like little pillars almost and I've seen this done with the um but is it biotope planter but I want to use goldfish because I like the blue in the um Bowls. And I decided to outline the fountain too. I was avoiding it because I didn't want it to feel too cramped but then once I did outline it I felt like it fit a bit better and looked that tiny bit more grand and pretty. But the outlining does come a bit close to the fake building but I've come to terms with that now. <laughs> Thank you. 
I did use a uh, garden wagon. I used a white one in this video, but have been debating changing it to like a brown wood, or maybe even the green version, but I haven't tested it out yet, so I will let you guys know if I end up changing the colour of it. And the jaw uh, benches are a must. I think they look so cute around the fountain. It's such a good way to frame a fountain if you have one on your own. And then I just got rid of some of the cliff and filled in more of the path here. I still don't know where this is going yet, but we'll figure it out someday. And here is the finished town square. I am in love with it. I'm literally living for this build. It's quite nice to do a pretty build again because we were doing a lot of dystopian builds for quite a long time. But thank you all so much for watching. Um, I do stream, so make sure you come to my stream tomorrow at 12 p.m. GMT. It's a lot of fun and we have a great time. So make sure you come and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all so much. Goodbye guys.